Charlie D'Amelio claims that she has lost the passion for TikTok after all the online hate she receives. Here's everything we know. I'm Gabby Conti, and this is your 24-7 Celebrity News. Charlie D'Amelio is the most followed person on TikTok, but with all of those eyes on her also comes a lot of hate that both Charlie and her sister Dixie D'Amelio have been very transparent about. Before reaching her milestone of hitting 100 million TikTok followers, Charlie also received a ton of backlash for a family YouTube video titled Dinner at the D'Amelio's, where she and Dixie were both called rude and ungrateful by critics for the way that they treated their private chef. Um, and I can't believe that we're still talking about this because both sisters have gone on record apologizing, explaining their side. Since then, they have uh, not one, but two shows in the works. They have a show on Triller. They have another show coming to Hulu, a reality show. Um, and they also received more backlash when they went away to the Bahamas while uh, cases here in Los Angeles were at an all-time high. But since then, and since all this backlash, Charlie and her sister Dixie have been super open to their audience about everything they're going through on their podcast, Charlie and Dixie, Two Chicks. As we report this, Charlie now has 1.9.7 million followers on TikTok, and she posts videos almost daily to update her fans on what she's up to, and still does the same TikTok dances and trends that made her famous in the first place. On her podcast, Charlie opened up about how uh, her relationship with TikTok has changed, since she rose to fame. And this should come to no surprise to you. I mean, Charlie is 16 years old. She's been on this platform for over a year. She gets a ton of hate, but she keeps on making these videos. So of course, you know, the videos that she posted before she was famous and now, it feels different to her, understandably. Charlie confessed to her sister about her relationship today with TikTok by saying, quote, it's extremely difficult to continue posting on a platform where the people that are watching your videos don't actually want to see you. A lot of the feedback is negative. It's very hard to do that. I just kind of lost the passion for it because I used to be really fun for me. But Charlie isn't quitting the platform, so don't worry. While she has kind of lost the passion for making TikTok, she is working on getting it back. As she said, quote, I'm working back into it but it's also hard when everyone is ready to jump and criticize the second something is taken the wrong way or our words are mixed up, which we see happen a lot to her. I mean, we saw it with Dinner at the D'Amelio's and we do see that, I mean, Charlie gets trolled a lot on the platform because yes, with a lot of followers, unfortunately also come some haters. Charlie also explained that her losing passion for making TikTok content is why she's been relatively quiet to the press and paparazzi and only opens up on her podcast as she explained, quote, that's why I don't speak as much besides the podcast because it's scary. Because every time I speak, everyone tells me I have no personality or I'm boring or I'm uninteresting or I'm stupid. What do you want me to do? Continue making content where everyone is telling me, no, this isn't good? Charlie went on to add, quote, I got here because I was making fun videos. I don't make content to make other people feel a certain way. At the end of the day, I make content because it's a fun thing I get to do. 10 million people hate me, but I've helped five people out no matter what it is. Then what's the point of listening to those people that don't like you? And that is such a great point, Charlie, and such a great reminder, no matter how big your platform is, if you have 109.7 million followers or seven followers, you know, don't let the haters get to you. If you reach one person, if one person likes your video, if one person reaches out to you and says, you know, thank you for posting this or thank you for saying this, that is really at the end of the day what matters. Don't listen to the haters, right? Shake it off, as Taylor Swift said. Um, so I'm happy that, that Charlie is opening up about this, but we want to hear from you guys. What do you think about Charlie saying that she kind of lost her passion for TikTok? Do you understand where she's coming from? Let us know your thoughts. I'm Gabby Conti, and follow us at Hollywire for your 24-7 celebrity news.